It goes out of bounds, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hello. Didn't I tell you don't do this on that stage? I'm, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Who do you think is to blame for the loss? Mellow, no, goddammit! Before the coaches get in, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna speak my guy. You're a selfish mother. I thought you had my back. You don't care about nobody on the team. You don't care about winning. You care about yourself. And I'm supposed to be calm. But he better not cry, because I said that's the weakest thing in the world. Just have tears coming out their face after they even did something wrong. Don't do that. Take it. And hey, he's human. He's young. He took it. That's a cold dude. That's a cold dude. Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about LaMelo Ball. So I know you guys remember that crazy incident that happened between LaMelo and this Lithuania player. This video, I just want to talk about that situation and just explain to you guys why LaVar Ball was so mad at LaMelo Ball for making a poor decision. Before I start this video, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at underscore the only Wallace. And also, you guys, go subscribe to my second channel, 10K Wallace Vlogs. I will start posting bangers on that channel very, very soon. You know, all this coronavirus and stuff been going on. So I haven't been able to go to the gym and do what I want to do. But you guys, go subscribe to that second channel. I promise y'all, y'all will not regret. Bangers will be coming very, very soon. Trust me. Now let's get to the video. So first, I decided to make this video just because I was reflecting back on LaMelo Ball's career mainly around the JBA USA tour and he was 17 around that time so about a year ago and honestly in my opinion those times when he was playing with the JBA USA team was one of the best moments of his career because it helped him mature more as a basketball player and it just helped him become a team leader and honestly this situation when he got in the fight really helped and changed his mindset as a basketball player because it just helped him mature more and as you can see LeVar Ball going off on him and showing him how important he is to the team and how much he have coming for him in the future. You know, LeVar really had to wake him up to understand where he's at in his basketball career and where he wants to get at. But the only way for him to get to that level, he has to mature as a basketball player and it's a person in general. So once that incident happened, when LaMelo got ejected from that fight, a lot of people think that LeVar Ball was so mad at LaMelo for getting in the fight yeah, he was mad at LaMelo for getting the fight, of course, because, you know, he's the face of the big baller brand at the moment and stuff like that. You know, like, he cannot be responding like that, like LeVar Ball said. But here's the thing. I want you guys to know, LaMelo was already getting on LeVar Ball's nerves. Like, LeVar was already, he was already getting frustrated with LaMelo. You know, LaMelo was already pressing his buttons because, like he said, he was already watching LaMelo. You know, LaMelo was already getting on his nerves. It just, that last thing he did as in getting in a fight during that game, it drew the line. You know, that made LaVar go off because he had enough with LaMelo. He had enough with his immatureness, him acting like a little kid. He just had enough. He wanted LaMelo to grow up as a person and a basketball player because let's look at it from basketball wise. We all know LaMelo is an outstanding scorer. You know, he was averaging nearly 40 points. 10 rebounds, 10 assists, you know, like he was going off. But the thing about JBA USA LaMelo, he honestly was more like a scorer. He wasn't really involving his teammates a lot. Even before then, before the JBA USA tour, LaMelo was that type of player as in he always liked to take control. He didn't really involve his teammates like that, you know, like how he is now. So after all that happened, LeVar Ball made LaMelo understand and realize that, look, I'm a team leader. I need to lead my team. I need to start passing the ball, contributing more. You know, it's more than just scoring the ball. I just have to become a overall team leader. 
And that's what LeVar Ball had to make LaMelo understand. And right after that whole fight happened, that's when LaMelo woke up and he just became a completely dominant player because he started to pass the ball more. He started to be more interactive with his teammates. He started to speak out more. He was just a completely different player. And honestly, you guys, in my opinion, during that time, LaMelo definitely needed that from LeVar because that helped him crack open that shell to just become the player he is right now. And I guarantee you guys, he will always remember that because that was a serious moment. Even on a reality TV show, you can tell it was a really hectic moment. And, you know, LaMelo definitely was crying around that time and stuff like that, you know, dealing with that situation because he was upset. He knew he made a bad mistake and he knew his father was upset at him. You know, that's one of the worst feelings, knowing that your parents are upset with you when you know they were hard for you to get to where you're at and stuff like that. But... I definitely want you guys to leave y'all comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about that situation. How did y'all feel about that situation in the moment? And how do y'all feel about it now? I thank you guys for watching. If you make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you press the notification button. Take a game. We out.